off the knives at the pool hall. I'm headed to pick up some knives at Hardy's. Not Hardy's knives, but I'm, I'm meeting a customer there. Buck hunting knives, and I think they're all hunting knives. I don't know how many or anything. But I'm knowing about 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes. Improving a little bit. I haven't got to the other knives. I'm about five minutes away. I got a text from a guy. You remember the guy that makes the uh, knives, the uh, Winkler looking knives, and I put the edge on them. He just makes them in no edge. Well, he made a knife, a kitchen knife for his mother. And he said he just dropped it off in my milk box. I don't know what it looks like yet, but I got to sharpen it. He's going to take it to her for Christmas. So we'll see another custom made forged no edge knife. Well, we got a buck and we got a western skinner. Buck's got serrated, little teeny ends serrated right there. Okay, we gotta go home now and get to work. Or maybe tomorrow morning, I haven't decided yet. It is Sunday about uh, 2.45. Okay, let's see what we got here. Homemade kitchen knife. Oh, I like the way it looks. Look at that, Santuco. It's kind of thick too. Okay, more action. Well, we just had a late arrival to the to the to the pile of knives. Got a knock on my door about ten minutes ago. Guy says I have this little skinning knife. I need you to get sharpened for me. Called a cub bear. Alaska, a river of Alaska. I like it. It's fairly sharp. Just needs cleaning up a little bit and then sharpening. There's the whole ball of wax. Four restaurant knives, Cutco, Capilon, Amherst, the Buck, the Western, the Homemade Santuco, and the Rivers of Alaska.